Local government play a vital role in the future of the Great Barrier Reef. Reef Guardian Councils help boost the reef's resilience by improving the health of local coastal ecosystems, which include estuaries, mangroves, wetlands, or the coastline itself. With 13 councils involved in the program, from Bundaberg up to Cooktown, they have the ability to make a real difference when it comes to restoring and reconnecting coastal habitats across the Queensland coastline. The Action Base program recognises what councils are already doing to help the environment and it encourages them to expand and enhance their approach to environmental management by implementing environmental action plans into their regions. We joined the Reef Guardian project to highlight the importance of the reef and for council to take a stand in terms of our activities, our land-based activities and their effects on the reef. The Hinchinbrook Shire Council has been a member of the Reef Guardian for a number of years and we're proud to be a member so that we can protect our reef for the, for the future generation. The Reef Guardian Council program focuses on best practice in local government and centres on recognising what councils are already doing under the five categories of land management, water management, waste management, community participation and education, as well as climate change. Council's participation in the program helps councils to ensure their communities understand and continue to enjoy the benefits of a healthy coastal environment by contributing to the longer term health of the Great Barrier Reef and its catchment. Reef Guardian Councils are determined and committed to show the community and the world that they recognise the importance of this great asset. Some examples are Bundaberg Regional Council removes weeds from coastal wetlands to enhance water quality. Cairns Regional Council has upgraded the wastewater treatment plant as part of the Cleaner Seas Alliance. Also cleaner streets for cleaner waterways. Mackay Regional Council conducts guided walks to educate residents on the values of the natural environment. We've also been working with a range of uh, stakeholders, whether it be our uh, uh, cane farmers, graziers, to work with them in terms of water quality coming off their particular uh, areas to again improve water quality going into the reef. We show leadership to the community. We show the community that as a council, we're prepared to take the hard decisions in terms of protecting the reef and the environment. Whit Sunday's Regional Council funds two eco barge trips per year to remove marine debris. Cassery Coast Regional Council educates the community on composting, worm farms, and sustainability in general. Uh, it's it absolutely imperative that, that everything's done to, to make sure that that, that assets uh, not lost. The Reef Guardian program means a great deal to me personally and it means a great deal I think to the council and to the local community. Uh, that's why we're, we're very happy to be behind it and I, I, I love it because it's, uh, it's a win for, win for council and it's a win for the environment. Cookshire Council uses a vehicle washdown to prevent weed seed spread throughout the Cape. Cookshire Council as a Reef Guardian Council stresses the importance of um, sound environmental management and any activities that we undertake, whether it be road building or putting in boat ramps or whether it's building you know, a building or implementing our waste management scheme, um, it's always a very serious consideration of what those activities will impact upon and what they may actually mean in terms of our connection with the coastline and particularly the Great Barrier Reef. Hinch and Brookshire Council and the community participate in National Tree Planting Day at Taito Wetlands. We've got our water management and our land management in place up there and, and our waste management in place up there so that uh, we're sure that any water that gets out to the Great Barrier Reef hasn't got chemicals in it or whatever to spoil the reef. That's the Regional Council. Uh, sees one of the main benefits of being a Reef Guardian Council, the fact that uh, we're recognised for the environmental initiatives that we do. Uh, to us it's important that uh, while we have a lot of industry in, in Gladstone, we must also protect the environment, not only sort of in the harbour, but also all the ecosystems around the harbour and that in turn affects the reef. Rockhampton Regional Council is raising awareness of biodiversity and encouraging water conservation through community participation days. Isaac Regional Council are helping to improve the locals and tourists' knowledge of freshwater species within the local wetland areas. The Burdekin Shire has, um, has initiated a lot of programs, uh, on-farm programs. Initially, if you look at agriculture, uh, the use of chemicals and best practice management, we promote that. 
Central Highlands Regional Council recognises that although council is an inland council, it's important for their community to understand how their local waterways drain into the Great Barrier Reef. Reef Guardian Councils are doing some great work in waterway rehabilitation, urban stormwater treatment, waste reuse and recycling, erosion control, as well as community planning. The Reef Guardian Council program is about sharing those experiences so the entire Great Barrier Reef and its catchment can benefit in the long term.